Now that Black Ops 6 Zombies has been on for a couple of days and we're starting to get a feel for the game, why don't we decide on which map is the better of the two launch maps, that being Terminus and Liberty Falls. Okay, let's just be honest, it's Terminus, alright? Okay, jokes aside, obviously we know that Terminus is the better map of the two maps, so we're going to go over this and see like what makes Terminus better than Liberty Falls, alright? Because you know what, I'm not going to lie, Liberty Falls is a lot better than we were thinking it was initially going to be. I thought it was going to be complete garbage when we first heard about the map and what we've seen at COD XP, or whatever it was, in COD Next, that's what it was called. And But no, it's, it's not as bad as we initially thought, so let's get right into it, starting with Liberty Falls. Okay, starting with Liberty Falls, this is the map that you want to play to get your guns leveled up and go for high rounds and generally just get your profile levered up faster, get your augments done, get your attachments, all that stuff, right? So now don't get me wrong, there's a ton of really cool side easter eggs in Liberty Falls is the thing to start off with. You got the bowling easter egg, for example, that's so cool. You got the superhero one, that's awesome, man. Unfortunately, the map itself, it just like it has a couple things wrong with it, right? You know, it's, it's lacking atmosphere, it's just lame. It just feels like a war zone map, you know what I mean? And like, I don't know, it's kind of lame that it's just war zone and just throwing in zombies. And then, like, the other thing too is that they said they added like more atmosphere to the map, the dark either clouds or whatever they're supposed to be, but like, they didn't do shit, man. It's just like a cloud you just see in the map, it's like, ooh, spooky, right? You know what I mean? But I mean, I guess they add something, but like, yeah, no, it's nothing great. But the map itself is fun though, is the thing. It's fun to play, it's just fun, like I said, it's mostly just fun for playing it to get to higher levels. Is that's the big thing about it, just get your augments leveled up and, and get your levels leveled up and all that, right? That's what's cool about it. And like the other thing about it is that the Easter egg, it's just kind of simple. It's like, there's not much to the Easter egg. There's no real reward for doing the Easter egg. It's like, like not like the classic way I mean, like there is the reward of course, but I mean like what I'm talking about when I mean no reward is that back in the old games, you get like a reward as in the story or being really cool or the steps being fun to do and all that. And the steps are, I guess they're fun because they're just so easy. And the ending is just like, whatever. It's just like, yeah, some guy, you know, traps you in the ether or something and he's coming out to cause havoc, whoever this guy is. I don't know who he is or anything like that. And it's just, it's just like, I don't know, man. But like, um, I want to go on a little bit of a side tangent here. I just feel like the new zombie storyline, just so uninteresting. The characters, just so boring. And just like, just generic and like i don't know it doesn't interest me in any way at least right now from what we've seen from terminus and liberty falls not interested in any way all right but um but getting back to liberty falls though like i don't know what else to say though about the map to be honest with you because like it's just kind of there you know get your xp get your weapons leveled up and all that get your army is done it's good for that but yeah it's got problems like the x pills feel like extremely hard for some reason i feel like the x pills are like 10 times harder than on terminus that's just weird, because the math's not, like, not that hard for the most part. And then you get the x and you're just like, what the fuck just happened all of a sudden? Just like, this is like, ridiculous, man. But like, nothing, it's, it's okay. It's like a, it's, it's, uh, if we're going to rate, rate the map, I would say it's like a good, uh, solid B, maybe lower B tier. Like, it's no higher than B, but no lower than B at the same time. So like, somewhere in the B tier is where I put the map. And, uh, it's not a bad rating though, you know? So it, it's got a little bit to it. And, uh, you know... Considering what we thought it was going to be, you know, it's, it's a lot better. So, now let's get right on Terminus. So Terminus, uh, it's a pretty awesome map. For one, the pack munch quest is awesome. And yeah, I forgot to mention that Liberty Falls does not even have a pack munch quest. And it's just kind of funny because, like, I, I don't know, man. It's just kind of lame, really, to tell you the truth. Like, what do you do? You just open a door and there you go. Where in Terminus, you got to open four different power things. And you get the power on for each area, which is kind of cool and all that. It's been done before, but you know what? It's fun. It's rewarding. That's the thing about having a, a pack bunch quest. It's just rewarding, right? Every like good map has it. Shadows has it, for example. The Rise and Drag has one, sort of. Um, Zetsubo even has one. That one's a bit complicated, you could say, right? You know, every good map has one. We're talking about LEGO Street maps there. And Nine has a pretty cool pack bunch quest, for example, right? So, like, it, sometimes it depends on the pack bunch quest. A lot of times it's pretty simple. Just do four trials or whatever, four doors or anything like or three teleporters like in Doreen's for example but the whole point of it is it's rewarding and you don't really get that in Liberty Falls so that's kind of lame you just like open a door and in uh, Terminus aside from the pack bunch quest just has a lot more to it you know the atmosphere is just like way better it looks like a zombie zap it looks like something cool it doesn't just look like you know just the town with zombies in it it's like I don't know it's just it's cool I, one thing I will say though is like why is all this shit inside of a uh, prison for I don't really understand that, and probably because I'm not paying attention to the story, but I also just don't care about the story because it's just so uninteresting. But like, seriously, why is all this shit inside of a freaking uh, prison? But who cares? The main quest, though, awesome. The Easter egg is pretty cool. 
And like, uh, it's just, yeah, it's really cool. We got this cool boss fight at the end. And I guess you can say like it connecting to chaos is cool. I don't really care myself because I didn't like chaos in the slice. I thought it was the most boring, dumb, generic thing ever. It was just like, there's nothing interesting going on. The characters all sucked. The story sucked. Every map sucked except for nine. We're not talking about chaos right now. We're talking about Black Ops 6 zombies instead of Black Ops 4 zombies. But yeah, no, it was a good game. It's a good map. Um, you know, it's cool they connected it to chaos if you care about that. The story is pretty whatever, and characters are whatever, but like just, I don't know, there's a good amount of attention to detail. You know, like when I was playing the map earlier today, I seen that you can see the characters that are talking to you in this room. How the zombies don't get into their room, I don't know, but who cares? It's cool just to see them, just to actually see the characters in the map. Even though they're talking all the time, is extremely annoying. It's just kind of cool to see them there, you know what I mean? The Wonder Weapon's pretty cool, and the boss fight, man, just awesome. It's awesome, so awesome. But one thing that's really annoying is that they just have like so many uh, boss spam in this map. You know what I mean? Just like there's just so many bosses, just manglers and parasites and the fat zombies and just oh my god, it's just so annoying. But that's a Black Ops Six problem more than anything. Then we got some side things like the digging sites that you have in this map from Origins. That's awesome. Yeah, the rewards aren't as good as the reward in Origins or all that, but you know what? I still like the fact you have it. And like having the Zetsubu spider fight, similar thing with the uh, underwater fight, tentacle thing, whatever it is that you fight down there. I don't know what you call it. That Squidward, it's just called fighting Squidward. That's awesome, man. You get to fight Squidward. First you get to be Squidward, then you get to fight Squidward. It's so cool. Like I just love little things like that in maps where it's just like a side optional fight. That's just, oh, it's so awesome, man. So awesome. Anything that reminds you of Zetsubo is just awesome. And uh, yeah, that's Terminus. It's pretty awesome. It's a really good map. Um, I don't know if I'd say it's A tier, but, but it might be. Might be more so top B tier and then like Liberty Falls is bottom of B. Man, I don't know where I'd rank it actually. That's tough to say. You had to, I had to really look and see where I'd rank this map, but it's definitely a really, it's a really solid map. It's not an S tier by any means, but it's, it's either A or B, or very high B, like top of B kind of thing, right? But yeah, no, it's just amazing. And I'm just glad that Black Ops 6 wasn't a disappointment that we actually got good maps out of this game. Like Black Ops 4, we had one good map and the rest were shit. <laughs> so it's, it's already got that over Black Ops 4. So, you know, it's good the game to disappoint us. I'm happy with it so far. Uh, I'm not grinding it as much. I just need a break after level 1000 stuff. But you know what? We're getting back on it. We're probably going to go for the uh, Dark Matter Camel, whatever it's called in this game. And yeah, so we'll see. We'll decide on that. We do. We'll let you guys know, of course. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about this. So thank you all for checking it out. I hope you all enjoyed this. It's good to have you all here. Um, and thank you all for the support on the Bubble 1000 video and everything else. And um, yeah, so that's that for now. I will see everyone in the next video.